In today's video, we're taking you around Wrocław. This was the second stop of our month-long trip through Poland and we liked it right from day one. Our visit to the city was spent wandering through the University Quarter, cruising down the Oder River, stumbling into a secret courtyard, and enjoying a tasty meal or two along the way. Following is our travel guide to some of the best things to do in Wrocław, Poland. Well, good day, good day. We are continuing our travels around Poland and today we're visiting a city that has a bit of a tricky name, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So, <laughs> I mean, if you were to say it like a, like a total gringo, like you might say Wrocław, but that's not it. That's yeah, not so it. We, we had to Google the pronunciation. Apparently, it's Wrocław. 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 Yes. So this video is going to be an exercise in trying to say that name correctly. Wrocław. Wrocław. So a good day of sightseeing has to begin with food. And what do we have in front of us? Absolutely. So we've got some toast. This is uh, pastrami. And these, la la. these sandwiches are so much bigger than what uh, I thought we were going to order. Originally, we, we dropped by like a very popular milk bar. But yeah. it was packed. It was like yeah. 11 in the morning. And there's a huge line. And we're like, oh, man. Oh, I don't want to wait for food. Yeah, so. there were no free tables. And like yeah. people were standing in yeah. line for food. So we're like, all right, let's find something else. Yeah, so we found and this. So we found this place. Is it? Yeah, so let's give it a try. Like it is just jacked. My sandwich is jacked. Look at all that cheese. Mm. 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 That's way too much cheese <laughs> for one bite. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's surprisingly really nice. Wow. I wasn't expecting to have a sandwich this morning. It was strawberry, it's really good. What did you get? So I went for the pulled pork. Sadly, they had no barbecue sauce for the pulled pork, so I've gotten some kind of spicy. Yeah, I mean those two, those that like, combi what? that combination is like a marriage. It's like if you're gonna have pulled pork, you gotta have tangy barbecue to go with it. But mm. hopefully, it still tastes good. What do you mm. think? <laughs> Yummy. It's so cheesy. Yeah, I know. I know. That's and jalapeno peppers. I almost choked on the cheese in my first bite. Okay, so now that we've had our lunch, we're feeling happy, we're yes. feeling well fed, so and lunch, we're gonna start wandering. Lunch is always essential. We do not mm -hmm. wander until we have full bellies. Food, food first. Food Anyways, first. we're heading towards the university district, so let's go. The university quarter is located in the north end of the old town, and it's worth visiting even if your days as a student are over. Here you'll find the University of Wrocław, which is one of the oldest academic institutions in Central Europe. The architecture is also stunning. I mean, could you imagine being a student here? So we've got a bit of a womp womp moment going on right now. It is literally the story of our lives. Whenever <laughs> we go to visit an attraction, a museum, anything, it's closed. we always go on the day that it just happens to be closed. And usually we're thinking ahead like, oh, it's probably going to be closed on a Sunday or a Monday. No, on this the, time on a Wednesday. Wednesday, right in the middle of the week. Anyways, so. we wanted to visit the mathematical tower. Yes. Right behind us and also a very famous classroom right. with beautiful painted ceilings, well, but we'll have to come back tomorrow. There you go, tomorrow. Since we couldn't visit the interior of the university, we stopped by the University Church, also known as the Parish of the Most Holy Name of Jesus. Admission is free of charge, though donations are welcome, and once you're in, don't forget to look up. Continuing our random wanderings through Wrocław, we reached the Ossolineum, which quickly piqued our curiosity. Once a hospital and convent, and later a college, today it houses one of the largest scientific libraries in Poland, as well as the National Archive. We visited the courtyard surrounded by mirrored windows and hydrangeas, and it felt like a secret garden. So cool thing about Wrocław, they have a whole bunch of little islands you can visit just north of the university quarter. So we're gonna do that next and the plan is to definitely hit up Cathedral Island. We can already see the cathedral. We can see the cathedrals. Okay. Let's, see, let's hope they're open. Cathedral Island is the oldest part of Wrocław. It was formerly an island that sat between two branches of the Oder River and while that's no longer the case, it still has a cathedral so it partially lives up to its name. He's on the love bridge. Sam's on the love bridge. Love bridge. So we've locked our love where? 
In Seoul? In Seoul. Only in Seoul. That's it? That's it. So I wonder if it's still there. That's like, that's coming yeah. up from five years old. Yeah, apparently locks are really bad for bridges because they weigh them down. So, yeah. no law of locking today. Ours, ours might have been tossed away already. So I think we're gonna call it a day. We're starting to see some rain in the horizon, so time to head back to the apartment. Yeah, but we actually ended up doing more than we'd expected today. Oh, we sure did. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot more walking. So tomorrow, I think we'll take you to a milk bar. We'll mm -hmm. try to do a boat tour. And Old we'll Town? Old Town, and we're gonna try to revisit those places that were the closed university. today. The oh. University, Okay, see you tomorrow. Well, good morning, good morning. We're at it again. Day two of sightseeing, first sort of business. Yeah, we're gonna go back to that milk bar and we don't care how long the lines are. We're gonna stand in we're line. Standing in there and we're grabbing we're some food. food. Let's go. Okay, so we made it to the milk bar. There was a bit of a long line, but we finally have our food. I think it maybe took 20 minutes from the yeah, time we ordered like to get that. everything. Yeah. So this was a bit of a tricky one because the other milk bars we've been to, we usually just walk up to the food and like point, we want this, we want that, we want that. For this one, you had to pay for it first, but you had to be able to decipher the menu in Polish in order to pay. So I kind of just chose things that looked familiar. Like I thought I knew what I was ordering. So I knew I was getting some kind of creamy soup, some kind of cutlet, some kind of salad. And of course we also stuck with the pierogi. Um, <laughs> As we do. So yeah, I kind of wanted to order the, the beetroot soup, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find that on the menu. So yeah, this is what we're it's having for menu. lunch today. It was. So what are you going to try for us? We're going to start with the cutlet. Kind of looks a bit like a schnitzel. Again, I have no idea if this is like pork or chicken or what. It's just a cutlet. Good? Good stuff, yeah. So we got the typical ones, the ruski. Take a look at that. Mm. Oh. Those are really good. Really, really good. Oh man. I haven't had pierogies in like maybe three days, so I really <laughs> miss them. It's a long them. time for Sam. It's a long time in Poland for Sam. And we had our lunch at a very yeah. good time because the line is like all the way to the door. It's almost doubled now and it was already busy. So yeah, full, satisfied and ready to explore. So we are heading back to the university and we're going to climb the mathematical tower and visit Aula Leopoldina. The two places were closed yesterday, which really sucked. But today's a Thursday, so I think we're in luck. All right, I guess one out of two isn't so bad. We can visit the Mathematical Tower, but unfortunately, Aula Leopoldina is closed until Saturday and we'll be gone by then. Basically, this is what it looks like, painted ceilings. This is a classroom we wanted to see, but it's closed, but here's a taste of it. We have made it to the top. We did. That was a lot of steps. Yeah, especially after the milk bar food. I'm still digesting, <laughs> so. I'm kind of out of breath almost. But now for the reward, the views. The views. So that was a very beautiful university. How would you like to be a student there? It would be awesome because not only is the campus really cool and the building's historic, but it's right in the center of the city. Yeah. So how cool is that? Normally universities tend to be a bit more on the outskirts, so yeah, that's awesome. With much better weather, we then followed the previous day's path back to Cathedral Island. Along the way, we visited the Silver Arch, which is a pretty cool sculpture on one of the smaller islands, and then it was time for a river cruise. Well, next up we're doing a boat cruise down the river. Where's Sam? There's Sam. Well, well. Well, well. So next we decided to take a river cruise. Yesterday, yeah. while we were wandering around, we saw a whole bunch of different boat cruises, different, mm -hmm. all different sizes, and we're like, 
Let's go do one tomorrow. We'll do one tomorrow. Yeah, and we've got blue skies today, which is great. Yeah, we've been nice this is ideal. Today, so this is perfect. And there's a breeze too, so it's gonna be a nice ride. Yeah, and we only paid 20 zloty, and yep. that's for a 50 or 55 minute tour. So not bad. Yeah, not bad. You'll see different boat cruises on offer just before you cross over to Cathedral Island, and they depart frequently, so it's easy to show up and just get a seat. Our next stop was Hala Targova, or Market Hall. It's a nice spot to hit up to get your daily supply of fresh fruits, deli meats, cheese, and pastries for a delicious yet affordable do-it-yourself meal. So we just walked in and we're gonna check it out. We've already noticed some restaurants and some really nice fruit and vegetable stands. And? And I bought some cherries. Check these out. I got a little box for five zloty. That was such a Not good bad. deal. bad. The, the quality looks awesome too. And that's a big box. Like, show how yeah. big that is. It's a big box. It's a big box. It's a big box. It's a big box. So last but not least, we have made it to Market Square, which is as colorful and elegant as can be. Typical of pretty much every European city. So yeah, we'll give you a tour of that. And that's a wrap for our visit to Rotswaf. As always, if you have any places to add to this list or any tips for fellow travelers, feel free to share those in the comments below. Until next time and happy travels. <laughs>